In this tutorial, I will show how to extract from a category tree. On this site, when one of these categories is clicked, a new list of categories is shown, and each of these categories may contain further nested categories. So what I want to build is a recursive table, which contains an ID column that represents the ID of the parent row. I will first create a project, which I will call Recursion. Then, I'll double-click the main global to edit it. Here, I will select load URL to load the current page. Next, I will right-click this action and select add sibling. Now I will click the new placeholder and type tree, dot, recur, and press tab to commit the changes. What this action does is recursively run the given actions, and produce a recursive table using the values extracted by them. What I'll do first is create a selector that selects the categories. I'll do this by turning on selection mode and clicking some of these categories while holding the control key. Now I'll right click this placeholder and select create selector from samples. I will call this selector category link. Then I'll right click my selector and select add sibling. After selecting each category, I want to navigate through it, so I will now select the browser, navigate action. And here, I will add a new sibling and type extract and press tab to add an extract action. The first data I want to extract is the URL of the category, so I will call it URL. For the value, I will select gather URL, which gathers the URL of the current page. I also want to extract the category name, but at this point, the browser navigate action above would had already navigated inside the category. I could extract the name from the breadcrumbs above, but there is an easier way. Every selector also outputs the text of the selected element, so I will right-click the category link selector and select output result. This placeholder is there for me to enter a variable name, which will contain the text of the category. So I will call the variable category name. Now, I will add a new column to my extract action by right-clicking the URL column and selecting add sibling. I will call my new column category. Finally, for the value, I will select the category name variable. Now I'll go ahead and start the extraction. The way this will work is, after loading the first page, it will select each category link, and for each link, it will store the name in the category name variable. Then, it will navigate through each category and extract the URL and the name of the category. And after each extraction, it will repeat the process by running the first action again, and so on, until no more categories are found, which will produce the recursive table. Also, we can see on the off-screen browsers that parallel browsers are automatically used when extracting from a recursive tree, which makes the extraction a lot faster. The extraction has produced two tables. Main, value, contains the values extracted by the extract action, which are the URL and category name, coupled with an auto-generated ID column. The main table contains the parent-child relations between rows. A quick and easy way to see this data is to right-click the main table set and select Join Tables. This shows both tables as a single one, joined by their respective IDs. Here, the ID column represents the ID of the row, and the main column represents the ID of the parent row. For instance, the row with ID of 2 represents the parent category of all these categories and the row with ID 19, represents the parent category of all these other categories. This concludes our tutorial.